Hey everybody, welcome back um, to my channel. So I thought I would finish up coloring in the um, Deborah Muller Fairy Merry Christmas today. Um, this is the third part of the, um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, coloring, coloring, color long, <laughs> coloring, color long that we're doing in the Deborah Muller um, Facebook group. And um, this was one of the pages that we chose. And I was coloring, um, in this with Crayola pencils and markers and then um, I did go back in after the last video and I know my nails look terrible today so just just realize that um, <laughs> I um, I did go in and I highlighted with some white pencil and shaded in with some dark pencil and stuff like that <clears throat> like on her antlers and the um, holly wreath on her hair and her eyes uh, I did her eyes and her dress and everything like that so um, I thought I'd finish up today by doing um, some work on her wings and then adding some stickles. I was going to do a background, but I decided not to. Um, I don't think that it's really necessary. I guess not every picture needs a background, so that's just how that goes. But I did get some um, metallic paint, and I did put it on her one wing. Now, I know that I am not a painter, so I didn't stay in the lines or anything like that um you know that's just how it is but um i'm gonna do the other one too so you can see the difference between the two i don't know if the light is really reflecting it good or not it's hard for me to tell but um this is a matte metallic which is kind of a uh, oxymoron because i didn't really know there was such a thing as a matte metallic but there is <clears throat> so i'm gonna paint her wing in and then when we're done we can use some stickles. So the paint that I'm using is the Deco Art Flat Metallic Paint in the shade Gold. And this was very inexpensive. I think it was like $2.69 at my grocery store. You can get it at Michael's um, Hobby Lobby, you know, any place, any craft store has Deco Art paint. And um, I'm just going to put a little bit in my paint palette here and then we will get started. So Again, it's like a disclaimer because I know that I am not an artist. <laughs> uh, I don't, I'm not a painter. I'm not anything like that. So, um, yeah, I'm not great. So just be aware of that. But that's okay. So I'm going to put some, just a little bit in my palette here because it doesn't take much. I'm put about this much, and I don't even know if we'll use all that, but um, we'll see. And then I have stickles, too, that I'm going to add on after we're done doing the wing. Let me zoom in to that wing. I'm going to try to remember to paint where you guys can see. My hand's going to be blocking it. Let me try turning the page. And we will zoom back out again and see how that goes. Okay, maybe we'll do that. So then I'll zoom in again. Sorry about this. There we go. So I guess I'm going to block it for a little while, but that's all that I can do. So I'd already colored on here with markers and I'm just going back in it with just a little light layer of this metallic paint. Um, if I hadn't already colored in with marker, it would probably require a second coat, but because I put on, you know, I already did it. Or with the markers or whatever it shows up pretty good I still have my Halloween music on um, that's gonna be on the music choice channel until uh, November 2nd and then they switch over to uh, Christmas music so, I was 
I'm seeing some very pretty gold paints in some various Facebook groups that people were using. And I've been wanting a gold paint for a while now. But I just was really unsure, like, what one to get. Because um, I don't need it a lot. Uh, but it's nice to have, especially for, like, little accents. Or I've really... One of my favorite pages... Um, in one of the Hannah Carlson books is like a watch, the pocket watch page. And I thought that would be nice to use on that. And then in these Christmas books of Deborah's, especially the, um, the gold would be good. So I bought a bronze also because they were on sale the day that I bought them at my grocery store. Cause I got them at my Meyer which is a local grocery store, but I know they're not um, all across the country. But I got it at my Meyer store for uh, buy one, get one half off. So they were $2.69, and I've been wanting the gold. And so Keith said, well, you might as well get two because they're buy one, get one half off. And I said, well, I don't know if I'll use them. I don't know how it's going to go. He goes, Annie, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> it's not like they're expensive, you know. So I got a bronze one also. They had silver, they had rose gold. Um, I'm not sure if there was any other colors, I can't remember, because it was just my grocery store, you know, it wasn't a craft store. So they didn't have like a huge selection. But, um, oh, this is a little, like, a little narrow space here. Um, they didn't have a huge selection, but still. So I got the bronze because I thought, well, I'll probably have some use for the bronze also. And I actually like this. It's kind of subtle, but it's got a little bit of a sheen to it. And I like it quite a bit. So I'm glad I picked it up. I plan on using it a lot. I think it'll look really nice, too, as like a background. So I'm going to try it as a background. And I thought it would look nice as like a background, like to put black down whether it be black pencil or black acrylic paint and then kind of stipple this on top of it to give it like a patina I thought that might be a nice background to try some on something so I'm going to um attempt that at some point also I can hear my dog barking again he's always barking somebody asked me in a different video what what kind of dog he is he's a um Australian Shepherd Border Collie Mix, and his name is Ranger, and I actually got him for Keith when we were dating. Keith's dog had passed away. Her name was Lucy, and um, he had another dog, which was kind of like his parents' dog. Its name was Dino. He was a beagle, but he was getting quite up in years, and uh, then Lucy, his dog, she had passed away. And some friends of my dad had this puppy that they had gotten their grandson. And it turned out to be too much energy uh, for the little boy. The dog was very exuberant. And so they were looking to find a good home for him because it was just a little too much for the dog, uh, for the boy to handle. So I asked Keith, I said, well, would you be interested in this Australian Shepherd Border Collie mix? And he said, Sure. So I gave gave it to him, gave Ranger to him, and uh, now of course Keith and I are married, so he's my dog too. He's got a lot of energy. <laughs> he's a very high energy puppy. Well, he's not a puppy anymore. He's like, let's see, I got him when we were dating, so he's probably ten, you know. So there's the wings, both her wings there. And as you can see, I didn't use up hardly any <laughs> of the paint. It would have been just a drop or so would have done it. But, um, yeah. So, I kind of like that. I think it's pretty. Just a little bit of something different. And I put it on her necklace, too. I don't know if you can tell that. So, I'm going to zoom back out and we're going to put some stickles on her. So, I'm going to wipe my brush off. I'm going to use... I'll show you what stickles I'm going to use. Yeah, I'll put that brush aside because I, I actually use a brush to put my stickles on because my um, it's too hard for my hands to squeeze the bottle. So I have to put them, put
put them out and then I um and then I use a brush because it's a lot easier for me. So I chose four shades. Um, first one I think is rhubarb. I don't have the Christmas red one. I kind of wish I did, but I'm going to use the rhubarb. It looks pretty festive and Christmas red. I'm going to put that where the berries are. Um, I got this lavender here, uh, to put on her dress on the lavender stripes on her dress. I chose the, um, sea spray to go over her eyeshadow and eyeliner. And for her antlers, I picked cinnamon. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll do the rhubarb. Let me see. What, what should I do first? Um, you know, I'll do her antlers last because I'll probably make a mess. <laughs> I'll get my hand in it. So actually, I'm going to do the stripes on her dress first. So we'll do the lavender. So I'm going to squeeze a little bit into my paint palette. And like I said, I actually use brushes when I do this. So I have one brush that I use consistently. Um, it's pretty old and frayed. It's got a lot of, uh, you know, it's pretty frayed. If I'm doing like her antlers, I'll probably use that one. And then if I just want to do like a finer area, I will use like a paintbrush with a fine tip on it. And I know it's really uh, shadowy in here today. It's because it's super gloomy. We've had a lot of rain. Uh, and it's getting into the gloomy period of everything. Oops, I took the wrong lid off. I was going to do the lavender first. So I think I would like to do some buddy colors. But like, n like open buddy color. You know what I mean? Not just one person. Um, I think that would be fun uh, in the Deborah Muller group to do some buddy colors. So I don't know. I'm kind of interested in that. So if you guys are in the Deborah Muller group and you're interested in doing a buddy color, let me know and kind of like let's figure out what books to work on because I don't know. So I put a little bit of the purple stickled lavender in my um, paint palette. And I'm not really particular about my stickles for the most part. I just stick them wherever it feels like it, <laughs> wherever I feel like it. So I was just going to brush it over the striped parts of her. Kind of covers up the polka dots that I put on there, but that's okay. That's all right. Making sure you can see what I'm doing here. But I do know that some people really prefer to have like a uniform stickle line, <laughs> just like an outline. And I like that sometimes too, but I also like just kind of putting my stickles on and having a fun with it, you know? So I don't know if you can hear it or not. There's a lot of uh, Halloween sounds going on in the background here. And I don't know if you can see that or not when it's going on. I guess it just depends on how the light is hitting. But I'll put it up to the camera. So you can see. But I think it's like almost a given that Christmas pictures require glitter. I mean... How could you not glitter them? Take just a dab more. Okay, so, and I don't usually wipe my brush, like clean it in between, wash it. I just wipe it off with a Kleenex before I go on to the next color, just because, you know, it's not a big deal to me personally if I get like a bit of purple where the red is supposed to be or anything like that. Um, I think I'll do her eyeshadow 
and her eyeliner next. I was getting a drink, so I'm using that sea spray for that one. And I probably will use that skinnier brush for that. And that's not going to take much. So I just put a dab in there. I mean, like, just a dab. If I need more, I can go back and get it out. I'll probably turn the sideways. There you go. So I've got my skinny tip brush here. If you hear sounds like something's blowing up in the background, it's my husband playing Fallout <laughs> on his Xbox. He's in the video game room, which is near our bedroom. That's pretty. Oh, that's really pretty. I don't know if it's showing up in the viewfinder or not. I'll zoom in a little bit more. And we'll see if it is or not. I don't know. That's so cute. Might as well use more. I put, you know, use what I put on the palette so I don't waste any of it. Super cute. All right, I'll make sure I have enough to do her other eye. I got some in her eyeball. Sometimes I don't just brush it on. Sometimes you just dab it because sometimes it just goes easier that way if you dab it. I haven't been using my stickles too much lately. This is the first picture I've used them. On in a while. I was using them like constantly and then I kind of like moved away from it and now that I'm using them again I'm like oh they're so pretty. So today is Sunday uh, afternoon late in the afternoon we just got done eating like a late lunch, early dinner kind of thing. We just had a simple Keith made macaroni and cheese. Um, and, and then it's like one of those gloomy days and I like, it's like a comfort food. I'm like, can I, do you care if I put mac uh, tuna fish in mine? <laughs> he goes, no, I don't care. You know, sometimes it just reminds me of kid, of being a kid and it's a good comfort food. But my mom used to always fix me macaroni and cheese with tuna fish when I was little. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't from a box. He actually made the macaroni and cheese, you know, but. Um, not that there's anything wrong with box macaroni because we eat that in this house too. Yeah, that's really pretty. And I used what was in the palette, so that's good. Maybe I'll end up putting a second coat on her wings because I still have some of that metallic paint left. Um, but I don't know if it's showing up on the camera or not, so can you see it? There it goes, you can see that. Look how pretty that is. Super cute. I'm gonna keep it turned sideways, I think. And now we'll do, let me put the cap back on that. Now we will do the, um, I think I should do her antlers next and then I'll do the berries last. Um, so I'm gonna use cinnamon for the antlers. Are you guys almost ready for Halloween? It's almost upon us. I'm very excited. We're going to, um, well, I don't know exactly what we're going to do. Watch movies, basically, on Turner Classics, I think. 
Um, and then have some kind of food. We were talking about getting pizza, and then I said, well, we can make tacos, because we have everything already to make tacos, and I'm like, then we could just save money, we wouldn't have to order ta pizza, <laughs> you know, if we just made tacos, and I do like tacos, so I don't know what we're going to do. All right, so I've got Brown out, and we will start stickling her antler, and I'm going to use my big messy brush, because it's a bigger area. So, just kind of putting them wherever. It's just going to be a big glittery antler. Excuse me, I have hiccups. I just drank some Coke with my with my dinner. And I have some left. Um, so, I brought it down here because I always get thirsty when I'm doing these chatty videos. I'm just putting the glitter in like the accented parts that I, where I did the highlights. Anyways, yeah, so I thought it would be fun to do some buddy colors. I already mentioned that um, in the Deborah Muller group. So um, I'll, put, I'll put a post up in that group about doing some buddy colors. Um, I just don't know if I'll be doing any color alongs, uh, organized events like we have been for the next little while. Because I kind of have a busy November. Um, we have a lot. My father-in-law has a surgery next week. Um, my mother-in-law has several things going on. Um, my mom has two surgeries, actually. They're not anything serious, but she has two surgeries. Oops, I didn't even realize I was coloring the antler, and it's out of the frame. Sorry about that. And um, I just... I don't know. I don't, I feel like I put, I stretched myself thin on this one. I had other things going on and I didn't devote as much time to it as I would like. And that bothered me. Um, and I don't want to do that again. So maybe it's better if I just do a buddy color for like buddy colors for November because I have these things going on. And then like back in December, we can resume some, uh, color alongs, you know, instead but, yeah, th I mean, there's a lot. I have so many Deborah books that I haven't colored in yet. The Mermaid, uh, Magical Mermaid Kitties, I want to color in that one. I want to do more in these Christmas books. I haven't even colored in my um, Misfits or my Glamour Ghouls yet. And then there's, like, the Mermaid books. I've only colored a few things in those. So um, I'm also anxious to start. My winter project is going to be to work on that Mermaid Soul journal that she has. And I plan on, like, going through all that with you guys and everything. Okay, so we have the antlers stickled now. So now I'm just going to put on the cran not cranberries, the holly berries. Um, I'll zoom out a little bit for that. And we're at 23 minutes, so we got plenty of time. I'm just going to put a dot on these. I was going to do the leaves too, but... Eh. I think it'll be okay if we just do the, if we just do the dots, the berries. So I'm going to take my skinny one that, again, that I used for the um, eyeliner. Try to make sure I got most of the teal cleaned off. So let's start doing these dots. Try to keep my arms out of the way for you guys. I don't want to put my my hand in the wet stickles. <laughs> I was going to tell you guys about my um, experience.
experience at holiday or at Halloween nights because it was really nice, but kind of didn't get around to it. But I can always do that in a different one. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing. I gotta pay better attention. Let's see, we're in 25 minutes. My hand's going to be in the way because I'm not laying my arm down because I don't want to put it in wet stickles. So excuse me while I do that. I have rediscovered my love of stickles in this little video. Alright, so I got that one up there. So I gotta do this one here in the corner. And this one down here. And I think that's it. I don't think I missed any of them. They all appear to have glitter on them so you can see she's appropriately stickled and feeling festive yeah I still have one more picture that I'm working on um, in this in for the color Christmas color long um, it's on the born is the king um, page I can show that to you guys I just started that not long ago let me show you this I started this one I don't want to lay it down on top because I don't want to put it down on the wet stickles but so that's the one I'm working on right now so I still have one more page I plan on finishing I don't know if I'll do a video for that or not but um, maybe I will I don't know but um, regardless, I'll post it in the event when it's finished. So thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed watching me kind of uh, paint a little bit and stickle a little bit. And I just cannot get over how cute I think the eyeshadow is with the, with the glitter. I think it's adorable. And her little dress stickled up, you know. Cute, cute, cute. So let me know what you think and let me know if you want to see more of this kind of stuff of using paint, using stickles, something different besides just coloring. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely let me know. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. I will put the link to the Deborah Muller Facebook group. Can you hear my dog going crazy again? <laughs> I will put the link to the Deborah Muller Facebook group in the description bar below. And you guys definitely come and check it out if you haven't already. It's a fun group. We do lots of fun things. There's lots of contests and um, they give away freebies every Friday. And we are planning on doing some really neat stuff for Christmas. Um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely come on over there and sign up if you have not already. All right. Thank you guys. I hope you all have a happy Halloween and I will see you in the next video.